Explore applications of technology and medicine. See how experts prevent, diagnose, and treat today's most traumatic illnesses. Discover the latest breakthroughs in healthcare on World Business Review's Health Journal Television. Welcome to WBR's Health Journal Television. I'm Alexander Haig. Diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and Alzheimer's have an incident rate up to four times higher among military veterans than the civilian population. Now a new antioxidant supplement mixture designed by Premier Micronutrient Corporation, also known as PMC, may reduce their health care risks and improve the quality of life for everyone. Here for this discussion are Dr. Gerald M. Hasse, MD, Chief Medical Officer for PMC, and Harry Walters, member of the board for PMC and former administrator of the VA under President Ronald Reagan. Welcome to our show, Dr. Hasse. We're delighted to have you. It's been a real pleasure to be here. Thank and we'll you. We'll call you yeah. Jerry, Jerry from here right. on. Okay. Now, Harry, you're also very, very welcome as an old friend. Thank you, Al. It's good to be here with you. Good to see you. Now, Harry, why are veterans in a higher risk group for those diseases that we've touched upon? Well, it all goes back to the effects of combat on, uh, on soldiers and how we have not been able to, in the years gone by, to offer anything to, mm -hmm. to delay or to ameliorate the effects of combat. That's why Premier Micronutrient has come to my attention, because it is, uh, offers a solution uh, to the veterans of this country and to our war fighters as well. Very good. Now, Jerry, back to you. How does your supplement actually help the situation? Well, the PMC formulation has uh, been shown in civilian volunteer trials, actually human trials, to in fact decrease oxidative damage, which is due to excess free radicals, and to improve and to enhance uh, immune function. Very good. For more on this fascinating and critically important subject, let's go to this Health Journal Television field report. Almost two million veterans suffer from six of the most common diseases at an annual cost of $20 billion to the U.S. taxpayer. Premier Micronutrient has designed an antioxidant, addition formulated, for optimal health while impacting the risk of potential toxicity of long-term medications. Veterans may have higher level of oxidative damage because they are exposed to extreme environment, explosives, dust particles, and other chemical agents. These agents are known to produce excessive amounts of free radicals, and free radicals increases oxidative damage. Increasing oxidative damage is associated with increased risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. Science has found that excess free radicals directly impact your immune system by decreasing the body's antioxidants that fight off disease related to oxidative stress. Premier Micronutrient Corporation has developed a unique formulation to improve the health of veterans. And this formulation is called Veteran Ultimate Complete. In addition to reducing some of the toxicities of standard medications, the proper antioxidants impact the incidence of chronic disease and reduce the overall cost of health care for the VA administration. A premier micronutrient corporation has also developed unique formulation for veterans and their families. This formulation is based on age and gender and will reduce the cost of VA. For Health Journal Television, I'm Jamie Mahler reporting. Now, Jerry, supplements have been around for some time now. What is different and unique about your product? Well, the PMC formulation, first of all, is based on the science from one of the top uh, U.S. antioxidant scientists. We just heard from Dr. Kadar Prasad, and really is the uh, outpouring from about 35 years of research in that area. These components are unique in that they include both dietary antioxidants as well as endogenous antioxidants, the ones that the body normally makes. Uh, for example, uh, you also have to have the right type, form, 
ratio of antioxidants, and most importantly, you have to have the right dosing schedule. Uh, for example, these components uh, use the most effective form of vi vitamin E, succinate form, which Dr. Prasad first described 25 years ago. Now, what are your nutritional programs, uh, and why are they better than others available in the marketplace today? Very important question. Most of the commercial preparations, for example, include iron, copper, or manganese in combination with vitamin C. This combination is known throughout science to produce free radicals by the billions. And in fact, that would increase oxidative damage, which is the exact opposite of what you'd want your antioxidant to do. Mm -hmm. And also, the PMC formulation eliminates heavy metals, such as zirconium or molybdenum. Mm -hmm. And these, if taken over a long period of time, may be neurotoxic. Mm -hmm. Now, Jerry, should people stop taking the generics, or does it harm them in the end? Uh... Well, that's a, that's a very good question. Basically, a lot of the commercial preparations have substances that could be counterproductive. Uh, as a physician, uh, I have one instinct, do no harm. I would rather have the people save their money, not buy a supplement off the shelf that might be suboptimal. Good. I feel the same way as a, a, a big consumer. Now, Jerry, how will your micronutrients interact with a consumer's prescription, herbal or maintenance medication? That's a very important point, especially in this day of polypharmacy where people are on so many medications. We're very fortunate. PMC's formulations have been in clinical use for over 10 years, and there's not been a single case of interaction with any medications. Now, Harry, how specifically can PMC's premier micronutrient programs help our soldiers in Iraq? Well, in fact, they're helping as we speak. Uh, they're being used by, by Marines in Iraq, and we're doing a trial on them as we sit here today. And the early reports look magnificent for our product. Very good. Now, Jerry, what studies have you done to prove that your program is truly effective? That's, of course, the, uh, the question of the day. It always is. Basically, we have done a randomized prospective study in a high-risk population, meat eaters, smokers, where we have proven that the uh, PMC formulation decreases oxidative damage and increases immune function. Also, in a government program looking at radiation protection, we were able to show that we can increase survival as well as protect the lungs specifically, which has a lot of impact for many chronic mm -hmm. diseases. And finally, in most Really excitingly, we are just finding out with head injured Marines that are returning from Iraq that have hearing and balance dysfunction that we are able to have a significant impact in their improvement. Mm -hmm. In fact, one young Marine was able to return to his position because his physical therapy went so well after he went on the antioxidants in just as short a time as about four weeks on therapy. Now, at this juncture, gentlemen, we normally ask our guests to bring our viewers into the near-term future, the next year or two. Let's we'll start with you, Jerry. What do you predict for your product? Well, I think that antioxidant micronutrients will become an important adjunct to optimal health as well as to disease management and prevention throughout mainstream medicine. I think also the consumers and the physicians are going to get much more sophisticated about their micronutrient choices. They're going to demand uh, mm -hmm. efficacy that, that the product works. I also think that the government, perhaps even through the FDA, will crack down on these dangerous supplements. They will demand rigid manufacturing processes. And I think they will demand patient safety and product efficacy. PMC looks forward to that day because we believe we will be on the very top of the credibility mountain in the micronutrient market. Now, Harry, would you care to add anything to that? I think I would, Al. I think the, the, um, the positioning of our product with DOD over the next two years is going to be very important to our business and for our warfighters. So it's, it's, it's a two-year horizon on that business, and we think that will be a business, a big business in two years. Beyond that, we're interested in, 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 in the veterans of America, not just in, through the Veterans Administration. We're interested through the VFW, the American Legion of Disabled American Veterans. Eight million of them are organized. They have magazines, which we intend to advertise in, and we're going to go directly to them uh, through their magazines and through their establishments mm -hmm. to, to the veteran who should have the same, same medicine that the warfighter is getting. Absolutely. Well, 
Unfortunately, the clock tells us we're out of time and we're going to have to terminate this highly interesting and amazing discussion. But before doing so, I'd like to thank you, Derry, Jerry, Dr. Jerry, that is, uh, for your fine contribution today. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you, Al. And to my old friend Harry, uh, uh, welcome to the show again, and thank you for your contributions today. It's great to be here with you, Al. Thanks. Good. And thank you for watching. Until next time, for WBR's Health Journal Television, I'm Alexander Hayes.